standing next to the spring that comes out of the ground right here uh, near the Empire Ranch. Uh, this is one of the places that is shown to be impacted by the dewatering uh, of the proposed Rosemont Mine. Mine to um, keep the bottom of the pit dry in order to be able to um, operate that mine, it creates what's called a Kona Depression, which is pulling water around from away from the surrounding areas. And a lot of these springs, like this one here at Empire Gulch, are going to be impacted by that pull of water. They draw the surrounding water underground towards the bottom of that pit to pump it out. It's like a big sponge. And that water is coming in there. It's being drawn away from these areas. And that cone of impact gets bigger and bigger the deeper that pit gets. Um, this is one of the areas that the models are showing is going to be impacted. Uh, it's liable to completely dry up the surface water here. We've got endangered leopard frogs here, and this is a major tributary to Sienega Creek, where we've got three endangered native fish species that need water to survive. Feet of drawdown at a spring like this can have major impacts. Um, as you can see, we've got deep pools here, but the connection between these pools, there's not a lot of flow. Um, just a little bit of um, taking away from that flow that's coming through here is going to create, it'll no longer be a stream, it'll just be a couple of mud puddles. A picture of what um, the plants and animals used to be throughout southern, southeastern Arizona, places like the Santa Cruz River through Tucson, the Rito River, Pantano River, um, the Gila River up by Phoenix, um, all of these major rivers used to look like that. This is one of the last places that's still left, and that's why there's so many people trying to protect it. There were literally thousands and thousands of frogs here. That's an abundant protein source. You can imagine that it didn't go overlooked. There were probably, if there were thousands of frogs, there would have been hundreds of predators. Um, Kotamundi, uh, black hawk, gray hawk, great blue herons. Um, we've even, there's even documents of jaguars having stomach contents full of nothing but frog. Uh, government agencies like BLM, who manage La Cienega's National Conservation Area, it's their responsibility to protect the resource. These trees are part of the resource. This water is part of the resource. Everything that lives in this water is part of the resource. That is one of the things that's made this resource as important biologically is the fact that there's water here. You know, BLM has done a great job of managing this resource and they're very concerned about trying to protect this resource because the water is such a key thing. We need to err on the side of being conservative and um, there's just no reason in the world to take chances like this when you've got something like this on, at stake. Sienega Creek is really the crown jewel of this conservation area. Um, it's a braid of flowing stream and marshy lands, wetlands through the valley bottom. And that is supported by these, this groundwater and these tributaries that flow into there. Uh, Empire Gulch here uh, is one of those supporting tributaries. And to lose a chunk of that water that is supporting that creek in times of drought and climate uncertainty is just another uh, cumulative take on that water that's going to impact that habitat and that stream and the species that depend on it.